Miss McCluskey, the doctor's ready to see you. Mr. McCluskey, I tell you about eating all that KFC, you know. You know your cholesterol level's high, but you still want to continue eating those things. Mr. McCluskey, how are you today? I'm fine, Doc. <laughs> my bones ache, my joints hurt. Bowel movements are irregular. Uh, I know. Um, well, I have some more bad news for you. Your test results came back and, and your cholesterol level is still very high even though I tell you to change your diet. Doc, you know me? I don't want not to eat. I like food. I know, I'm but... Can change my lifestyle? I am afraid I'm going to have to put you on some drugs. You will have to be on a drug called Lipitor and you must have a low-fat diet with regular exercise. So, Doc, this drug Lipitor, how does it work? Well, Lipitor is a satin drug. It reduces your cholesterol level. And you know about cholesterol, right? Yeah, it's too bad chemistry. Yeah. Yes, I'll go with Jason from our two parts. Yes, I know. Yeah. You know cholesterol is a steroid hormone when it is used mm -hmm. in making vinyl salts. It's a precursor for steroids. It's um, an important part of um, membranes, cell membranes. And you know cholesterol, it is made in the thin body by um, what we call the novo or from right, scratch. scratch. Yes. Or you can get it from your diet or you can get it from other compounds within your body. The process of cholesterol synthesis has five major steps. You see here that it begins with acetyl-CoA and acetoacetyl-CoA. And this is converted to HMG-CoA. This is converted to methylmonate which is then converted to an isoprene-based molecule that goes through a series of reactions to form squalene. Squalene is then converted into cholesterol, which is then made into bile salts or steroids. So Lipitor would affect this enzyme here. HMG coenzyme A reductase. Exactly. This enzyme will be active in the dephosphorylated state. So when um, Lipitor acts on this, it phosphorylates the enzyme, which stops this entire process here, and you don't have cholesterol being made anymore. And not only that, Lipitor will actually stimulate your LDL receptors, mm -hmm. your low density lipoproteins. Remember, that's bad cholesterol. Yes. It will stimulate your body to use the LDLs in your blood, so that will reduce the bad cholesterol, which is better for you. How I know this drug is safe? How I know this isn't some new fungal drug that's barely been tested? Well, the photo is actually called an atrivalent calcium satin. This right. is how it looks. Right. It's been around since 1985. Right, it's been quite popular. Um, it's been prescribed to 30 million people worldwide. Oh, and it's really? been involved in more than 400 cases. All right. Alright Doc, so you said you had results for me? Yes, I actually have your results. They don't look good. Your total cholesterol level is 230 and your LDL level is 156, which is not good for you because your total cholesterol level should be around 200 and your LDL level is considered to be borderline high. And so I need you to take this Lipitor as soon as possible. If you don't take this drug, you are actually at risk of having a heart attack, of having arteriosclerosis, which is the lack of plaque in your arteries. You can get a stroke. You can actually also, um, what, what are you doing? You, you're not supposed to be eating that. No, 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 put that away. You're not supposed to eat cheese. You're not supposed to eat hamburgers. You're not supposed to eat anything with high fats in it. Okay? And you need to, I need to go through to the side effects of taking the pitot. The main ones are liver failure and kidney failure. That's mean. Yes, they're, but they are rare. Most of my patients come back to me and tell me that they have muscle problems, like muscle fatigue and weakness. Uh -oh. um, okay. They may have diarrhea and stomach problems, but you need to notify me if you're vomiting or if you have nausea or if your eyes are yellowing. And if you if you have any swelling or around like your lips and throat and tongue, that means you could be allergic to it. Okay. 
Right. Um, just a general knowledge though, you can't take this drug if you're pregnant or if you're breastfeeding. Just a general knowledge. Why you look pregnant? <coughs> anyway. Uh, how, much, how much are you going to prescribe? Uh, yes, it's a 10 mg dose. You can go up to 80 mg um, with a low fat diet and regular exercise. But it takes four to six weeks to, to actually see a result. Um, you can't be on this drug if you have diabetes. You can't be on the drug if you're taking HIV or AIDS um, supplements, um, anything to do with liver function, any drugs that aid in liver function, and okay. managing your cholesterol. You know, remember, think of it. Remember some years ago, I remember commercial. Yes, I remember that commercial too. How does it go? All right, so that's your team now. Um, Ethan, my team. Um, who's this girl? Um, that's Chantal. I don't know her. You know her? No. no. You could play? Um, yeah, you I know. I find she kind of, kind of fat. Yeah, she kind of. Yeah. But don't, don't make sure now. We gotta put her down easy, right? Um, um we have enough bodies to play. Like, the yeah, teams will be on even. Yeah. Come on, I can kick the ball. Just let me show you. How much? Yeah, but, um. You can kick it, seriously? Yeah. Kick the ball. That's our real best game, boy. Yes. Hey! Oh my! Wow! And that was a girl from a few months ago? Come! That was in the same spot? Yeah! That was the same girl! Yes, that was the same! Yes, that was the same! What's your name again? What's your name again, boy? Did you fall over the back to the ball now? Shanta? What's her year? I can't remember her name! It's Shanta? It's Shanta? I wonder what she was on! I guess with the tell what's wonders. What are lipids? Lipids are inorganic compounds that are poorly soluble in water. They are the main energy source of the body. They have regulatory functions. They play a major role in homeostasis and they form the phospholipid bilayer. There are three basic sources of fatty acids in animals that can be used for energy conversion processes. Fatty acids present in triacylglycerols obtained from the diet, fatty acids stored as triacylglycerols in adipose tissue, and fatty acids synthesized in the liver from excess carbohydrates. So what happens when we eat food high in lipids or fatty acids? Dietary triglycerides enter the mouth, cholesterol esters, triacylglycerols, and phospholipids remain unchanged. The stomach digestion of lipids begin here. Lingual and gastric lipase enzymes degrade triacylglycerol molecules. In the small intestines, emulsification and degradation of dietary lipids occur here. Fat enters the stomach as insoluble microscopic particles and must be emulsified by bile acids such as glycocholate, which are secreted by the bile duct, and function as detergents to promote the formation of finely dispersed microscopic microbes, which can then be absorbed through the intestinal wall. Formation of lipids into micelles orient the ester bonds of the lipid toward the surface of the micelle, rendering the bonds more susceptible to digestion by pancreatic lipases that are in aqueous solution. The pancreatic secretion of hydrolytic enzymes, which degree dietary lipids, is hormonally controlled by the following processes. The presence of partially digested protein in the upper regions of the small intestine are detected by the cells of the mucosa of these regions and CKK is produced. Reactions occurring in the small intestine. Cholesterol ester forms cholesterol by cholesterol esterase. Phosphatidylcholine forms glycerophosphorylcholine by pancreatic lipase. Triacylglycerol forms 2 monosylglycerol by pancreatic lipase. Products of digestion in the jejunum: 3 fatty acids, 3 cholesterol, 2 monoacylglycerol together with bile salts and soluble vitamins form methyl. Resynthesis of tau and cholesterol esters. 
The mixture of lipids absorbed by intestinal mucosa moves towards the endoplasmic reticulum, where biosynthesis of complex lipids takes place. Fatty acids form fatty acyl CoA by fatty acyl CoA synthesis. Two monoacylglycerol forms triacylglycerol by acyl CoA monoacylglycerol acyl transferase and acyl CoA diacylglycerol acyl transferase. Lysophospholipids form phospholipids by acyl transferase. Cholesterol forms cholesterol esters by acyl CoA cholesterol acyl transferase. Amino acids form apolipoprotein B48. Fates of chylomicron components. Triglycerol is broken down into capillaries of cells and muscles, adipose tissue, liver, lung, heart, and kidney. Triglycerol is broken down into free fatty acids, which is transported in the blood in association with serum albumin until they are taken up by the cells, oxidized by the cells to form energy, muscle cells or adipocytes, tag molecules reesterified by adipocytes. Triglycerol is also broken down into glycerol, which is converted to glycerol 3 phosphate, dihydroxyacetone phosphate, which is used in glycolysis and gluconeogenesis. Cholesterol esters, phospholipids, apolipoproteins, fat soluble vitamins, and some tag bind to receptors on liver and the endocytos. Their remnants are hydrolyzed to component parts. This is a receptor mediated process. Cholesterol can be recycled by the body. The neurosynthesis of fatty acids involves making fatty acids from scratch. The liver synthesizes triglycerols from fatty acids when glucose levels are high and the amount of acetyl-CoA produced exceeds the amount needed by the cell. Essentially, acetyl-CoA makes fatty acids, and you can see the reaction here. Fatty acid synthesis occurs in the liver and lactating mammillary glands. You need acetyl-CoA, ATP, and NADPH. And the committed step is this reaction here the carboxylation reaction. Acetyl-CoA is committed to be converted to malonyl-CoA, which is then aids in synthesis of fatty acids. The swinging arm mechanism of acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA carboxylase is an ABC enzyme that needs ATP, biotin, and CO2. It is the regulatory enzyme for fatty acid synthesis and has two functions, two active sites, biotin carboxylase and transcarboxylase. You can see the reaction right here. So acetyl-CoA carboxylase is covalently regulated by the hormone-mediated CAMP-dependent protein kinase and AMP-activated protein kinase. Fatty acid synthesis. It occurs in the cytosol, it uses ATP, and it uses acyl carrier proteins instead of COE as fatty acid. Fatty acid synthase. The remaining reactions are catalyzed by this multifunctional dimeric enzyme. It has seven different enzymes and seven different active sites, and we could see the advantages listed here. There are four main steps in fatty acid synthesis, which is condensation followed by reduction, followed by dehydration and reduction again. So we see this summary chart right here, and we see the reactions here. Beta oxidation of fatty acids. This is a breakdown of saturated fatty acids that occurs in the mitochondrial matrix, and each cycle removes two carbons. It produces acetyl CoA, NADH, and FADH2. We see this is the main reaction here. The long chain fatty acid enters the cell. The long chain fatty acyl CoA synthase converts it to CoA fatty acid, which occurs in the mitochondria. This COA derivative is impermeable to mitochondrial membrane and it uses the carnitine shuttle system to transfer it across the mitochondrial membrane, as we could see here. Malonyl COA inhibits CPT1, which prevents long chain fatty acids from entering the mitochondrial matrix. But short chains and medium chain fatty acids can enter the mitochondrial matrix without the carnitine shuttle. Once inside the mitochondria, they are activated by COA derivatives, by matrix enzymes, and are oxidized. In even number saturated fatty acids, beta oxidation occurs in the mitochondria, consists of four reactions, which we see here, oxidation, hydration, oxidation again, and thiolytic cleavage. Beta oxidation yields a large amount of ATP and shortens fatty acid chain by two carbons.
Drug, do doctors like prescribing it? Yes, it's regularly prescribed, but, but there are other drugs in the same class like simvastatin and rusuvastatin. Do patients come clean about Lipitor? No. You know why I kidnap you? Because you sold Lepitor to my wife. My wife was a very plump, sexy woman. She was thick and nice. I like my woman thick. On top of that, she had diarrhea, upset stomach, and set of effects that the drug have associated with it. You tell her about it? Yes. You used to recommend Lepitor? Yes, I do. What other drugs beside Lipitor would you prescribe? You should be supervised or monitored by a doctor. I, I can't really prescribe. Is the doctor? Uh, I don't Is know. Is the doctor? I don't know. I'm going for a doctor. Could you untie me at least? Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped in the upside down And I'd like to take a minute to just sit right there and tell you how I ended up by Dr. Sinclair At UWI, wasting time, waiting for doubles and standing in line I pay my money and I get my food Slight pepper put me in a good mood When all of a sudden my face turned blue And at the same time my heart stopped too I fell to the ground with my hand in the air And that's when I was rushed to see Dr. Sinclair I woke up in the hospital clutching my chest Thinking what's gonna happen next Dr. Sinclair said I had a heart attack And they must do some tests before they send me back My BMI should I was overweight And my cholesterol level was 88 She said that this was a bad report And then prescribed the drug for Lipitor Atofosatin is the drug's name And an inhibition is its game HMG cold wave reduction it stops, the valine production in the body drops. Cholesterol can be produced and interrupted when the mavalone pathway is unobstructed. Sensitivity in the receptors of LDLs increase uptake by the liver cells. I took the truck for three whole weeks, hoping to get the results I seek. Instead of results, I got side effects, nausea, diarrhea, and my stomach's upset. Then the worst headache I've ever had I had to see the doctor as it was so bad Doc said he gotta get on this pill I can spread against the madness on the treadmill 